This is Shane. I've got 15 minutes to teach him how to make the most amazing crab cake without actually showing him anything. All he's going to be doing is hearing my voice, audio. On a scale of 10, how bad are you? Uh, pretty bad, I'd say a 2. OK, that's got me more nervous. Uh, 15 minutes, your time starts now. Let's go. OK, first things first, take the crab. OK. OK, put it flat side down on the board, like okay. this. Just like that. Got it. And then get your hands underneath, get your two thumbs in place at 6 o'clock, and you push up, and you lift that up. And that's called the purse. Now, from there, take these big legs off. I think I took them all off, but all no, right. No, because there's no point in wasting the time on the little legs. We'll be here all day. Get your cloth. Put your cloth on top. Get the back of your knife and lightly crack the claws. That opens them up. And then look what happens from there. You sort of crack open and then get your finger inside and beautifully slide out this incredible nugget of crap. Beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get the nuggets. Have you got the nuggets? I'm not getting the nuggets. Yeah. Try, pinch the end here. They're kind of pinching me. They're pinching you. <laughs> Shane, the crab is dead. Did you push hard enough on the knife? Uh, perhaps not. OK, so you've got to give it some, some welly, as we say in England, please, and crunch. Oh, I see. Hands. There you go. OK, you've got crab ready, yes? Yes, I do. Thank goodness for that. Right, let's start off with the bell peppers. OK, well, right, so I'm... Top and tail, OK? All right. What should I do with the crab, Gordon? Okay. So put it back in the bowl okay. and clear off your bench. OK. Shane, yeah. if you work nice and tidy, we'll produce a stunning crab cake. If you work in a mess, we'll produce a mess. Right, top and tail, your bell peppers. OK. And then you take your knife and yeah. slice down, slice around. That way we get rid of the bitter parts in the centre. All we do now is form a beautiful julienne. Skin side's quite rough, so put the skin side down onto the board. And then from there, chop. Now, the secret of these peppers is to make sure it's small dicing, OK? OK. What do you so, consider small, Gordon? Uh, I would say a half a centimetre. OK. Half I, don't a know, centimetre. I don't know metric. You don't know metric. Shane, come on, yeah. we are in the 21st century. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, once you finally dice yes. all your bell peppers, yes. lift them up into the bowl for your crab. With me? Yes, they're in the bowl. Good. Now, the secret is to make sure that once they cook, they almost disappear. So make sure they're not big. Okay. From there. Get your crab meat. Got it. And flake the crab meat into the peppers. We're going to season the crab meat with salt and pepper. Open up the top of the pepper mill so we get a nice crunch of pepper in there. Salt, and then take your lemon and then zest that into the mixture. Now, All right. uh, wait, spin I'm, the lemon I'm, round. Uh, getting my zest here. Keep up with me, please. I'm doing my best. OK. Take a little slice off the top of the lemon and squeeze the juice in there. From there, take an egg. Beat up the egg. Season that as well. Salt, pepper as well. Sorry, and what am I doing with the egg? So you just put the egg into the bowl. Uh-huh. The whole you, egg? The whole egg uh -huh. and your whisk. And then... Wait, i got to break up the egg. You add that in. Wait, in what? To, in that mixture there. Shane? Yes. OK, stay with me. Got a it. teaspoon of mustard. A teaspoon, teaspoon of, mustard. of Worcestershire sauce. And then a little touch of cayenne pepper. And then, Shane. Yes. I just want you to take that and smell the sort of bowl and make sure it smells nice and fragrant. It does. And then taste a little bit. Taste the seasoning. We can't season it after we've cooked it, so we season it. OK. It tastes good. It was a little spicy, to be honest. That, that, that's the idea. When you cook it, we'll lose a bit of that spice. Now, okay. from there, lightly sprinkle your breadcrumbs over the mix. All of it? No. Lightly sprinkle <laughs> okay. breadcrumbs over the mix. Got it. And Shane, what we're trying to do here now is use the breadcrumbs to bring the crab cake together. Take your sheet tray. And then you take your cutter and you press the crab meat. The secret here yeah. is to press the crab meat into the cutter. You know we're up against it time-wise. I'm pressing. OK, so press it in there. Got it. From there, we're going to turn on our pan, wash our hands. Washing my You're hands. You're doing a great job for a minute. You know, great job. Now, we're going to sit these into the pan, turn your pan on to a medium-high. Medium-high. At 80 degrees. Now, once that gets up to temperature, very carefully remove the cutter from your crab cake. And you've got two nice, perfectly rounded crab cakes. Perfect. Uh, Gordon, I'm, so my, my circles are now perfectly circular here and the little, little bit well, mis misformed. Uh, uh, Shane, yeah. um, first of all, don't blame the equipment. Take some responsibility. And I gave you oh. a perfect set of cookie cutters. Yeah. So if they're not perfectly done, yes. there's no reason why. You press them down, you put a little bit of effort and energy into the crab cake, and you okay. mould it. Okay. With me? 
I am with you. Good. Now we can start <laughs> cooking. All right. Take a teaspoon of olive oil into the pan. Roll the pan round. And then from there, get your spatula under oh. your crab cake. Okay. Lift it up nice and gently. OK. OK. Nice thing is, across these crab cakes, there'll be no visual peppers because you would have fine diced them if beautifully. If they're so finely the diced, you wouldn't know there's peppers that, There you there. go. That's Got the secret. Oh, great. Into the pan. The okay. first one goes in at 12 o'clock. And the idea now is to get some colour on those crab cakes. To put some what? To get some colour. Colour, no, OK. No colour, no flavour. Got it. Second one in okay. goes at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, it's in. OK, great. Now, from there, now we're going to move on to the dressing. OK, this is where it gets really exciting. Take I your can... mayonnaise, excuse me. Mayonnaise. Add your capers, one tablespoon of capers, one teaspoon of mustard into the mayonnaise. Take your chopped red onion. Uh, I do not have chopped onions. I'm going to have to chop oh. it myself. Here we go. You can take some of mine. There you go. Thank you. Excellent. OK. Now, gently give your crab cakes a little shake. From there, take your spoon and mix all that in. Take the other half of your lemon, squeeze the lemon juice in there, and then roughly chop the tarragon into the remoulade. Uh, Good? The tarragon is what? What's the tarragon? Tarragon, have a little oh, taste. Oh, no, no, I see it, I see it. So, like, nice long strands. Yeah. Okay. Now, the salad. Take your radish, OK? Open up the radish. We're going to season the salad with the lemon juice and a little touch of olive oil. Now, we need to dress this salad very lightly, OK? Salt, pepper, with me. I'm with you, I'm adding my pepper. Great, and then I'm we take the spatula salt. and we start to turn our crab cake. Turn uh, it? Turn it, turn very it carefully. Over. Put your hand on the top at 12 o'clock. Okay. Listen carefully, spatula underneath yep. and turn it. Turn it over. Beautiful, turn it over. Okay. Good. Looking good. Ready for the most exciting part. Okay, great. And that's to dress the plate. Take your salad dressing, lightly yes. toss the dressing and then want to create the salad at the top of your plate. Get your salad into almost like a sort of, like a rose at the top of your plate. Sorry, I'm... A rose. A, a rose. rose. Remember the last time you bought roses? Yeah. There you go. So imagine this rose... Wait, wait, with the, with the at salad? At the top of your... Yeah, we're, we're creating a garden at the top of our plate. I got it, OK. A fresh, delicious garden. OK. Get your plate on the board, put lemon, the salad on the plate. Gently zest over the salad the fragrance of your lemon. Get your remoulade and spoon your remoulade uh -huh. at 6 o'clock and then run your spoon through it so it looks like a beautiful smear on the plate. Gently lift your crab cakes out. OK. And just place them on set like that. And then very carefully, we're going to finish it with a little drizzle um, okay, of I'm fresh adding lemon the crab cakes to the remoulade. And then I'd like the plate absolutely spotless. And there we go. And that is how to perfect an amazing crab cake finished with a stunning remoulade and a fragrant salad like it's just been picked. Shane, are you with me? I'm with you. I'm on the ready count to... of three, turn around and show me yours. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Holy fuck. Shane, did you drop it? I didn't drop it. Jesus no, I, Christ. I did my... everything you told me to, to a T. That looks a lot better. I want to eat that. Jesus. <sighs> Shane. I'm sorry. Go you ahead. are bad. <laughs> OK. Um, I'm not sure that's cooked through, so oh I hope it'll be okay for you. Shame. It looks like a dog's dinner. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to taste this. It's actually seasoned nicely, mm. but the presentation is shocking. Um, Gordon, do you, do you think I succeeded? No. No. Okay. I know that was tough, uh, and you hadn't touched crab before, but uh, you were bad. But promise me you'll keep on trying. Uh, you've, you, your encouragement means something to me. I'm going to try. I'm going to try cooking. I promise.